Hey everyone, this is Valerie from the Protego Foundation. And Tyler. And we are gonna show you all of the great stuff that we bought at Harry Potter New York when we went on opening day. Woo, so excited. All right, so let's get started. Um, we can start with my personal favorite item that I bought, mm -hmm. which are these tote bags. Oh, those are nice. You can find them kind of at the, the queue for the checkout. And they have a bunch of different ones. They all say Harry Potter New York on the front and nice shiny gold letters. And then on the back, I bought a few different ones. This one says I open up the clothes. And then I also got one that says the wand chooses the wizard. And I just think uh. these are like the quality of it. And they were only $6 and I hope they stay that way. But like I bought also maybe like 10 bottles of butterbeer. So these helped me <laughs> carry those out of the store. And also I bought a few for my friends that will be perfect Christmas presents. Uh -huh. So that's probably my favorite thing just because of like the functionality, the quality, and I just really love how they look. I mean, and I remember you kind of walking around New York with all those butterbeers like in yeah. those tote bags. So if they can hold up to the New York, uh, what is it, transit, um, journey and i think they're gonna be great quality yeah i would say so they've been tested with i think i bought like one of the four packs of the little butter beers and then i had like six just individual bottles um and then i felt cool too walking around because oh. it was like we went the first day and then the second day there were people in line to get in the store and i was like i've already been <laughs> oh, i already got my butter beer <laughs> <laughs> yeah i love that That's so good. so let's see something that you got yeah um so I got something from my partner, Danielle. Um, I am a very proud Slytherin, but the Harry Potter New York store, as well as um, the online Harry Potter shop store, they have like these makeup bags or like these these bags that you can like, you know, haul things in. Uh, and they're all vegan. It's a uh, artificial leather. So it's really cool. Uh, so I got her this Hufflepuff one and it's got the Hufflepuff H with a badger on the front. And then on the back it says Hufflepuff. And even the like little, Pull tag, pull tab, pull zipper, zipper pull. There you go. Even that has like a little bit uh, of Hufflepuff crest on it. So oh, that's really nice. That is nice. Yeah. So I thought this was like a really cool thing to to see. And the, I love that Harry Potter New York, all the makeup and um, all the brushes and everything, cruelty free and vegan. Uh, and she was really excited to get this. So that's so nice that you thought to well, get her something. You know, I don't like to brag. But. <laughs> <laughs> Great so fiance like over here. Yeah, and the inside. What's the inside look like? Oh, yeah. What does the. I, I feel like for some reason that matters. It really doesn't. Oh, I didn't even but notice. It does. It's like that extra little detail yeah. that, that just like takes it to the next level. So, yeah, it has a little Hufflepuff pattern in there. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, I think it's all the, yeah, it's all the houses. Oh, it's all the houses. Nice. Oh. Well, that's nice. I do like that. Yeah. That is cool. So, there's that. Nice. Awesome. And this was $15. Not a bad price. Pretty decent. Not a bad price. Yeah, not bad. I yeah. was super happy to see that all the makeup was vegan. And yeah. it says it on the back and everything. Like, So yeah. it wasn't like an afterthought, like, oh, accidentally vegan. It was mm -hmm. like they made sure that you know. Yeah. And I put um, my butterbeer bottles in here <gasps> to protect idea. it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Great idea. And it worked. No problem. <laughs> so what else did you get? Well, speaking of butterbeer, I guess we can show, which we'll have plenty of videos about this. You've already seen it, but. It's probably the coolest thing that you can get there because, um, for one, it's vegan butterbeer. First time you can get that in the U.S. And this one has the Makuza logo on oh, it. Nice. Super special. Love it. And then God. the mugs that are reusable and you get to keep. I think that's really cool. Um, this is what those look like. And they're dishwasher safe too, aren't they? Yeah, they <sighs> definitely are. I love collecting these for some reason because, like, at the Wizarding World theme parks, they have maybe like four mm. different styles. And then um, at the studio tour in London, they have two different ones and they're smaller and they're just all different. And I don't know why I just, I want them all. Well, and when the bottled butterbeer was announced, they included this tankard in like the promotional set. Yeah. And everybody was like, where can I get it? Where can oh, I get it? Yeah. And they only sent them out to some influencers. So it's really cool that you can get them now at the butterbeer bar here at Harry Potter, New York. So that's really cool. Yeah. What's that? Um, let's see. Another butterbeer item that I got. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, it's they have a bunch of these little tea towels everywhere. What do you use the tea towel for? Uh, I well, I guess for like a kitchen towel, or oh. I was thinking I could use it as like 
if I'm taking pictures of butterbeer or something, I can have this underneath and it would be a nice little like backdrop or something. It's real cool. Yeah. What does it feel like? That was I nice. Mean, it's not super soft or anything. I th yeah. I, again, I think it's meant to be kind of like a kitchen towel. Mm. Um, and then in the Mina Lima section, they had other ones, which at one point I had, I think like <laughs> three other ones in my little bag. Um, they give you, they give you this nice kind of like black canvas bag to walk around in so you can put all your stuff in there, which is nice. Uh, but then you end up filling it up with maybe more things than you would have. So I had to kind of pick and choose <laughs> and I put some back. So I got this platform nine and three quarters ticket one, which I thought was really nice. I, I guess I'm a sucker for the like gold accent and like beige parchment stuff. I don't yeah. know. It's very Harry Pottery to me. Well, and this shape of towel, I think, plays really well with the idea of like a ticket, you know, for yeah. for Yeah, it's perfect quarters. for that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah. There were actually a lot of things in the Mina Lima area. Um, the first time I walked through, I didn't really notice them, but then I went in and I kind of looked like at every single thing. Mm. Um, oh, so you got these in the House of Mina Lima section. Uh, the Butterbeer one was next to you, all the Butterbeer stuff. Oh, okay. Like, uh, you got a keychain, right? Oh, yeah, I got a bottle opener. Bottle yeah, opener. we can show that too. I got this Butterbeer bottle opener. Um, just cause, you know, right before I left, I had to open a bottle and I didn't have a bottle opener. And I was like, oh, if only I had a bottle opener. And here we are at Harry Potter New York and they have a butter beer one and it has a, ma a magnet on the back. Uh, so you just stick it on your fridge. Boop. So I've already used this many a times, but yeah, really handy. And this one, this one's thin, like. It twists off. Twists off. Yeah. But, uh, the small ones, right? Yep. Which. Okay, so here's a story. I wish I bought one of those because on the way back, flying back home, um, I didn't have time <laughs> to like check a bag. Oh no! I was gonna I was gonna put them all in the check bags because yeah. you know you can't take liquids on a plane. But I didn't have time. I was running a little bit late, and so I ended up having to like drink slash pour out all oh, of my butter beer, no. which is sad because no. I had like three that were still filled uh so i'm on the train and I'm, I'm bleeding i'm trying to like open this bottle and i was like i really wish i had that butter beer bottle opener should have called me so you should get one I, I recommend that how much was that i don't remember but i know it was not expensive i did not end up spending a lot of money at harry potter new york which was something that i was um kind of surprised by the items in the store are cheaper than universal studios and I don't know if they'll stay that way forever, but at least for now, I did not spend a lot of money and I got everything that I wanted. So yeah. I would I recommend mean, this still. That's good. I'm sure you have plenty of Harry Potter stuff already. Yeah. So I, I did end up, I mean, looking at it all now, I didn't get that much, but I spent a, a decent amount. I think yeah. we mainly bought butterbeer. <laughs> that was the big thing. We bought lots of butterbeer. So yeah, I feel like everything was pretty well priced. And like Tyler said, uh, if you go to the Wizarding World theme parks, for some reason that stuff's more expensive, even like the robes mm -hmm. and everything. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to save a little money when you're near New York, or you can buy all this stuff online too. All the online. Most, yeah. of it. most of it. For the most part. And um, now I'm remembering, I said my favorite item was the bag, but actually I think it's this hoodie <laughs> that I forgot that I was wearing. Um, it's in the first room. It's like the Harry Potter New York exclusive mm -hmm. stuff. I have it rolled up because it's a little hot. But it's super nice. It's really comfortable, really soft. I love the color. Um, and I love like the logo because it has the Hungarian fern tail on it. And it says Harry Potter, New York and everything. So it's really special. So I'll always know where I got it. Yeah. And that seems to be a favorite for a lot of people. It, yeah. The, the merchandise that they do have at Harry Potter, New York, that's really exclusive um, in that first room. I know so many people who have gotten that exact same sweater and they love it. So, so. nice. I, I couldn't decide because they also have it in like a t-shirt form. And I was like, mm. well, that's cheaper. Maybe I should get that. But then I was like, but I really like, <laughs> I really like the hoodie. And I'm yeah. glad that I got it. I love that. Because I think it looks better. Yeah, it looks very nice. So um, I think it was $60 for the hoodie. 50 or 60 which is pretty average for a hoodie. Yeah, very standard. And then I think the shirt was 30 which I guess it's a little, a little bit higher. It's on the higher side for a t-shirt. It might have been 25. I hardly don't know. I feel like it was 30. It was I feel something. like you're right, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. worth it. Worth yeah. It. it looks very nice and it'll come in handy for those Colorado winters. Very true. So very true. 
And to uh, wrap up the Mina Lima stuff, when we walked in to the room, they kind of just handed us this really nice book. Um, it kind of just shows like some of their some of their stuff and it was free and they just handed it to us. I don't know if they will always do that, but I'll take that. Yeah. I like it. So fun. It has their London and their Osaka stores. Would love to go see the Osaka store. I was going to say, we can hit up uh, Wizarding World Japan while we're there. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um, and then the London store, I know they just opened a new one. Yeah. That's bigger. So that's cool. Very rad. I guess that doesn't wrap up Mina Lima. I did give them one, one other thing. Um, so this is a package of postcards. They had a few different styles. And again, at one point I had like three of them in my bag. And then we, I decided maybe I should only get one. <laughs> um, so I chose the Newt Scamander themed one, which is cool. Like the box is even like a little, his little oh, like, wow. suitcase. Um, and then just has a bunch of really nifty postcards inside. Oh, those are rad. You gotta give it up to Mina Lima. Yeah, so they're all magical creature uh, themed. And it's like stuff from the movies that you never even noticed. So it, it has like puff healer ointment and stuff that presumably was in his house. Mm -hmm. um, it's just really cool. And like the spellbound. <laughs> one and yeah just a, lot of a ton of different ones oh, i recommend man. it see and these are cool too because you can send them off to a friend who maybe didn't get to go to harry potter new york or yeah. you can just pop them in a really nice frame and wow you've got some really easy fantastic beasts artwork that you can hang around your harry potter shelf exactly and you can feel like you live in the wizarding world because yeah. like this one is like the flourish and blots um invitation for like the when he was doing his fantastic beasts book like release, so mm -hmm. it's like an actual invitation to that. That's, that's very I'm cool. bummed we never actually got to see that in the movies. Like this is just a side tangent, but I'm bummed that we never actually got I to see agree. that because this was like the the first promotional image that we saw from Fantastic Beasts two, and it was like, oh, Newt's doing like a book signing at Flesh and Blots, but he never did it. Yeah, or well, at least we never got to see it. We you know, see like we see a it picture of yeah. it, but yeah, but yeah, I'm like this series is named after this book, so I th I thought all of the movies was gonna be him writing the book <laughs> and then the second movie comes and he's like oh book's written book's done. by the way uh yeah whatever okay, moving so on yeah i'm just like <laughs> what is this great but okay sure i also like the packaging that this comes in like, yeah the fact that it looks like Newt's case and just the attention to detail like it's mm -hmm. a box right like normally you would throw it away or something but no i'm keeping that yeah that's very nice keeping it. yeah well if i can jump in and continue the fantastic beasts train um harry potter new york has these really fun mugs they have a house elf one or an spew one that is really cool it's sold out by like the end of the day that we were there i was so bummed yeah. we saw it the first day and i was like i can't believe they have an spew mm -hmm. mug it mm -hmm. wasn't even in the movie not in the movies um and then by day two like gone and and we've checked back since too and not there nothing so but they also do have these niffler mugs right here and it has a little niffler on the handle and on the inside a little coin that's like 3d um it's really really nice but i got this for my partner as well uh and she's using it as like a pencil cup so nice yeah a little niffler love you should keep your change in there oh my god that is such a smart idea i never would have even <laughs> thought of that <laughs> save yeah. up for your osaka Ugh, Mina Lima there we go yeah there it is wizarding world japan yeah so when you first walk into the story you get a Harry Potter New York map, which shows all the different rooms. It currently has two floors and it's really fun to just explore all the different rooms and uh, themed sections. And isn't there something like special, like yeah. secret about this? So somebody, one of the, they didn't show us this on the first day and I think it was because it was the grand opening. So they were super slammed. But when you get your, your maps, you'll see that they have like hole punches in them. And we didn't understand what they were for uh, the first day. But then the second day when we went back, the person who gave us our map, it was a little calmer. They showed us what you're supposed to do with it. So you take your map, unfold it, and then you fold it over. And those holes that were hole punched show where all of the horcruxes are that you're supposed to find in Harry Potter New York. So also uh, this map has something to do with another interactive element in the store. Yeah. Yeah. So 
for people who have the Harry Potter fan club app installed, uh, which if you don't, you should definitely get it. There's a lot of really fun exclusive content on there, behind the scenes stuff. Um, also, if you are a Harry Potter fan club gold member, it's where you'll access you know, even more exclusive stuff. But as you're walking around Harry Potter New York, you're gonna open up the Harry Potter fan club app and you're going to scan these winged keys that are kind of like QR codes, right? Um, at all these different stations where there are authentic props that were used in the film. So that's another really cool part about Harry Potter New York. But as you're scanning these, um, these winged keys, these QR codes in the Harry Potter fan club app, you're, you get a, a bunch of really fun information about it. But then at the bottom, you'll get a letter right? And you're supposed to go around the entire store and collect all these different letters and it'll spell out uh, a spell or some kind of secret word or something that you take to the cash register and you tell them what the word is, you show them on your Harry Potter fan club app and you get a special prize. Yeah, and so the prize that they may change it, who knows, but the one that we got was a special exclusive pin. Um, this is what it looks like. So that's pretty cool. Like it's free. It's like a game, like a scavenger hunt thing you can do. And then you learn about the props and you get to see real props that were in the movies. I always love that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just, I really like that they took the time to develop like an ex another experience, yeah. like an entertainment um, element in the store. It's not just about shopping. Like it there's, really isn't. there's some other fun things that you can do. Yeah. Like, you can go and just go to the Butterbeer bar or you can go and do like, the, I hope that they change it out. Like I hope that, Every time you go, or, you know, maybe it'll be seasonal, but I hope that every time you go, it'll, the word will be different. Maybe they'll switch up, like, the pin, because that would be cool. Encourage, yeah. Encourage, like, repeat engagement and something. Yeah. I, don't, I thought that would be really bad. Maybe, like, once a year or something. I don't yeah. know. That'd be cool. You may or may but, not have time to do that, but yeah. either way. And then you walk away with this really cool map of the store and this really cool program with this secret thing. Yeah. Just like any Wizarding World thing, like the theme parks, the attention to detail. I mean, you go in the store, you look up, you'll see like replicas of Nifflers and like, and a spider and yeah. I don't know. There's a lot. Um, fun sound effects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the snake. Yeah. There's a lot of really fun stuff. So one of probably the largest sections in the store is devoted to wands. Um, and they have a really cool little like wand experience as well. Yeah. I was surprised with that. Um, it's interesting. But hey, it's something to do. It's cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you can get pretty much any wand that you could want. It's really well organized, like per character. Um, so of course, we both each had to get a wand. Couldn't help it. Um, and these are from like a special collection, right? Yeah. So these are they're calling these the celebration ones, and they're not they're not character ones. They're not wands that are like unique into the wizarding world they're like wands that are inspired by the wizarding world so you'll see like a lion head uh wand you'll see ukrainian iron belly wand yeah you know, on the handle like they're supposed to evoke wizarding world but not be from the wizarding mm. world yeah. yeah i liked a lot of them they were like really well designed uh the mm. gryffindor sword one loved <sighs> I, I guess I just love gold things, but I'm yeah. I'm a Ravenclaw, so I like <laughs> didn't I didn't buy that one. Yeah. But um anyway, yeah, there's a lot of cool ones to choose from. Where else can you get those besides online? Can you get those at the theme parks? No. They're only available online. Yeah, and so another thing is the boxes might look a little bit different. Um in comparison, I have a couple of other ones. I have like my Ollivander's one from the Wizarding World. And then this is an older one. I don't even know if they make them that look uh, like this anymore. Um, but I got a Hermione wand long ago. So yeah, these one, these boxes are a bit different and a lot easier to open. You just kind of lift it right off, which as opposed to like, I don't, <laughs> you know, like, oh, I don't even know if I can open it. You have to kind of pry it. Yeah. Um, but these old ones had this like polyester. What are they? I don't know, but it's it's like fancy, right? Yeah, it's nice. It's pretty fancy. Um, <laughs> These ones just have paper. Yeah, it's just paper. Are they all purple, or did we just happen to get the purple? We just yeah. So the ones that we chose are purple, but a lot of the boxes will be different colors. So if you got like the the Ravenclaw mascot one, it'll be blue. Okay. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, there are different ones. Like yeah. That. Yeah, so, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. And then they all have little cards that kind of describe like the one that you got. 
I got the Hogwarts architecture one. And which one? Did I got you this know? golden snitch one. Golden snitch, which is the it's exclusive to that store. Yes. So all of these celebration ones can be bought on the HarryPotterShop.com website. Uh, except for this golden snitch one, which is the only reason why I got this one is because it is truly unique Yeah. to Harry Potter New York. Is it limited edition or are they always going to have it? I think they're always going to have it, but I will say the grand opening day sold out. Second day sold out. Not so surprised. they're probably putting out limited quantities. So I would always recommend that people, if you're going to, you know, start a wand collection or you just want to really commemorate your Harry Potter New York, you know, adventure, make sure you get the golden snitch wand. Yeah, which it looks really nice too. Yeah, it's a, it's a very nice wand. And again, this isn't a character wand. Wand. This isn't a wand that is, um, you know, a unique like, oh, I'm a wizard from the Wizarding World. I would use this wand. This is a wand that is inspired by the Wizarding World. But can you imagine going to Ollivanders oh. and like, you've never maybe you're like mobile born and yeah. you've never you don't even know what Quidditch is. And no then idea. this is like you're gonna become like the best seeker. Well, Ever. <laughs> I had I had the opposite thought where I'm like, oh, what if you're really bad at Quidditch, <laughs> but this is your wand, or or you're like, you're you're the like best beater that Hogwarts has ever seen, but you've got a snitch. Well, at least wand. you can say it's a Quidditch wand. Yeah, that's but true. Otherwise, yeah, if if you're not good at Quidditch, you're gonna get made fun of uh -oh. if you have that wand. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. <laughs> it's still very pretty. It's still yeah. really nice. It's very hefty. Nice. Um, it is made of resin. And it's even the, the black shaft of it has a lot of really nice uh, designs inside. So it's very nice. And I'm really glad that I got this wand. Yeah. Cool. And yours is really pretty too. Like what yeah. made you want to get that one? Well, I, I just love Hogwarts. I have like lots of different Hogwarts statues and everything. Mm. It's just the best. I love castles. Um, so this one, actually, I don't think I had ever even seen it. Like really? I, I guess I don't follow the, the newest wand trends or anything, <laughs> but, um, so it's obviously inspired by Hogwarts. Nice. Really nice detail there. It and has all the house crests on it, right? Or, or the house mascots. It does. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I haven't even looked at it that close. So it has the Griffin statue. What's this? What is this? Uh, it's the door to the great hall. Door to the Great Hall. Okay, so it has that twice, and mm -hmm. then yeah, it has the different house uh, symbols on there. Nice. Um, and honestly, it looks like chocolate. It I does look like chocolate. It. It's like a chocolate wand. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it might look even cooler if it was gold. I guess I just love gold, but mm. I I considered spray painting it, but I think that might be a horrible idea, so I might you, not do that. You have to get another one and then spray paint it. <laughs> yeah, but. How does yeah. it feel? It feels good. The, the handle, the hand fits in it. Nice. Can I, can I hold yours? Yeah. I have to reopen it. Luckily, we have these new boxes. And they're super easy to open. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> I, I think mean, yours, I feel like. You have to hold it a certain way or else yeah. it kind of like yep. feels wonky. I don't know why. I love wands like that. I love Voldemort's original wand. Mm -hmm. I love um, Bellatrix's wand. I just, I like Victor Crumb's wand. You I like, like when they're not straight. Yes, I do. I and like, this one's a little bit curved. Yeah, they're like unique and just, you know, I don't know. Yeah, don't unexpected. Know. Yeah. I think that's why I would, even if I went to Hogwarts, I would want to go to Grigorovich to have him make my wand because that's just his style. You know, his yeah. style is very um, natural looking. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just like that. Yeah. Cool. So, wow. Awesome. Yeah, I think this is going to be the favorite, my favorite item that I got at Harry Potter anywhere. Yeah. Is the wand. I, I have a really robust wand collection. Uh, the only thing that I would knock is that the trademark is like right there on the top. Oh. I would prefer it be a little more hidden. I know that Warner Brothers has to put the trademark on there somewhere. Yeah. And because of the way that you do have to hold this wand, maybe it. I wish it was a little more hidden. Yeah, mine is much less noticeable. It's like, oh, wow. it's just there. I would I probably would not have even noticed. Yeah, exactly. your trademark. So uh, apart from that wand, the only other exclusive item that they had was a really nice Mina Lima print. Um, there were only 200 of them, I think, and like they sold out within a few days. So that's another cool thing that these different locations do. Um, or if you've gone to Harry Potter Celebration in the past, um, <laughs> hopefully they bring that back one day. 
Uh, but they'll always have an exclusive Nina Lima print, and it's mm-hmm. very collect- collectible and um, always really nice. So yeah. unfortunately, you can't get that anymore, but you can still get this wand. So that's all we bought, which it's a decent amount of stuff, I would say. It's I'll awesome. probably buy more next time. There's just so much to see. Um, I, like I said, I had more in my bag and I had to put it back. So maybe next time I'll yeah. buy some more stuff. Um, one thing I would have loved to been able to show you today was some candy, but the entire Honeyduke section, unfortunately, everything had animal products of some sort. So hopefully in the future, we can do another one of these yeah. videos and review <laughs> some candy. Yeah. Would be nice. Yeah. Um, and they're supposed to be getting a vegan snitch brownie in yes. the butterbeer bar. So yeah. once we have, once we've seen what that's like, we'll of course share with everyone. And I think after, you know, the rush of like the butterbeer bar and how exciting it is to get bottled vegan butterbeer here in the U.S., when we go back, we won't get as much butterbeer, you know, and well, I think we'll, we'll spend, yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> I think we'll spend more time getting more Harry Potter stuff. Yeah. You know? so. it, it is the only location you can go to and get butterbeer without like having to pay to get in. Yeah. Which I think is really awesome. You don't have to pay a hundred dollars to get into a theme park or go to the studio tour. You can just walk into the store, get a butterbeer and leave. Like That's if it. you want, it's great. There's supposed to be opening a window too. Like no. that part right in the butterbeer bar. Right yeah. Up. Like it'd be like a, like a drive through except nice. like on the sidewalk. So that's going to be fun. You so you don't even have to go to the store. And... Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's rad. So if you've been to Harry Potter in New York, let us know. Uh, what did you buy? Let us know down in the comments and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And for more information about the Protego Foundation, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you'd like to see our walkthrough through the Harry Potter store or our opening day vlog where we got there really early in the morning and got to experience the excitement (laughs) of the grand opening, which was really fun, um, check those videos out. And we're going to be coming out with a lot of Butterbeer videos as well. So look forward to that. And until next time, Protego Protego Maxima. Maxima!